What's up guys, my name is here back with another video. I had gone earlier this morning to go with my brother to get this incubator and I forgot to bring my camera, but check it out, check it out. I got my incubator set up I'm in my room. Probably shouldn't do it in my room because it probably might be stink, but whatever, mom will get mad at me, it's okay. Um, But yeah, I have it set up in here already. Put the water and stuff in. I All right, so this incubator, you gotta manually rotate your, your eggs. Unlike the one that my dad has, that one you don't have to manually do it, this one you manually have to do it. You have to rotate it like two times uh, a day, I believe. Uh, that's what it said in the video I saw on YouTube with this incubator. I got it for like 20 bucks, this incubator, um, on Facebook Marketplace, so, you know what I mean? Just kind of impulsive buy. Didn't really need it, but I definitely wanted an extra incubator. So, yeah, has a little light here so you can see through the egg. It only fits nine regular size eggs, um, but it does have four extra slots for like quail eggs or something. I figure my bantam eggs could work perfectly fine since they're pretty small. That's it. Um, I mostly have kikariki eggs in here, and then I have a few of my other birds in here. With that being said, we're about to go outside, check up on the birds, check up what my brother's doing, and start our day. Let's do it! Let's do it! Morning, mother. Morning, father. Morning, Ava. Have anything to say, do ya? Ay, yeah, I don't have a high, yeah. Alright, I think blue should be fine here. I don't know. We'll see, man. I hope he's fun here. It's pretty secure. My brother put this shit on to block the wind, thank goodness. Because they're freezing. Here. Come on, baby. Come on. These are like, my only two cages that aren't really as warm. Um, the rest, you kind of just cover blankets. Um, but my brother's about to put them inside just in case. Inside, uh, you know, Ooh. our little travel cases. Yeah, they should be fine because when they roost up, this breaks the wind for them. I should just start chilling in the corner. I <laughs> love to see her in the back. Yeah, she's just chilling in the corner. So, for the most part, this blanket right here covers up the wind. They're all doing good. But yeah, I ain't trying to be out here too long because I'm cold as fuck. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, we're out here. It's cold as shit. We're trying to get the birds covered up a little more. Um, my brother took the birds that were out on the cages down here and put them in some boxes over here. Travel cases we got going on. 26 degrees out, man. Yeah, all the birds are pretty much good. But other than that, the birds are okay. I, I like her too, but her feather, I can't really see her feathers and how she really looks because she is molting. So that is why I like her a little more. So I kind of want to use her, but I will use her too. You know what I'm saying? And I am trying to stud mate. So that way I know who the mom is and whatnot. It'll probably be easier if I just put them all together, but I'm going to try to stud mate because I want to see the mom and see if I can see the difference. This is pretty much the start of my breeding. And I didn't even check up on our chicks, man. Jeez. Let's check up on them. That's the whole thing down. Oh, it's warm as shit. Looking good, man. Looking good, ladies and gentlemen. You see the, um, our kikarikis right there. Well, not the blacks, the white ones are the kikarikis. They're awesome. It's like a little freaking forest in here. This is cool, man. Pretty cool. Oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, guys, in my room. Finally got this incubator to be working right, I think. Not that. 28.3. That's it. That's what the video said on the. That's what the video said to do. Put it at 28.3 and rotate it two times. All the shit that you just had me do for you. going through i hope this is the last one here in texas because god dang it's like 28 26 current temp is 33 degrees it's gonna drop all the way down to 26 but yeah i'm about to just take out these waters um defrost the ice and then put some some good good you know what i'm saying <laughs> let's go check up on these guys though old english hen she's okay just gonna use this freaking milk crate right there doing good I got some water in there, but I am gonna give him some fresh water. Old English game hen. Haven't been out here um this morning really, cause um cause it's fucking cold. And yeah, I, I worked last night, so I woke up pretty late. I work is uh I woke up pretty late when I work. I usually close, that's why. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. These motherfuckers. 
Switch to the fucking angle. Yeah, it's fucking cold, man. I don't really like to be cold. That's why I gotta wear a ski mask and shit. Yeah, I'm not really about that life. The, thing, the good thing about Texas is like, it's random. Kind of like a bad thing, too. It's not a long time thing. It's okay for the most part. Huh? And I already collected eggs with my brother the other day, um, because of the cold and shit like that. Only a few more. Only a few more. Yeah, so these are our temporary cages right here. It's just what we got for right now. They're just dog cages. They work perfectly fine. So I'm trying to save up. Get out of there. So I'm trying to save up to get uh, some cages that are like all matching or to just build one. I'll probably just build one. Yeah, it's all ice and air. Also got to get more of those feeders if I'm going to get some more cages. You know what I'm saying? Because I do plan on really doing this, man. I enjoy raising these things, man. Just something different, man. A lot different. I don't know what I'm gonna name him. Look. Ice! Ice! Ah. He's protecting his ladies, man. What can I say? He's just protecting his ladies. Do your thing. Do your thing, big daddy. Look at him fucking crow. For you guys who don't know about chickens, man, there's there's a lot to it, man. It's a lot, but a little. I don't know, man. There's it's like it's like it's related to fashion. For I really love to have a girl. You know what I mean? They all got girls in there. And what I mean, what I mean by fashion is, if you look at the roosters, they they look the prettiest. Like their tails are always long, and it's always you know to impress the girl. You know, and it's just like it's just like fashion for me. Like dressing up a certain way to you know look good. That's originally why I got into clothes to you know look good for the girls. You know, <laughs> it's called like peacocking. You know what I mean? Um. And that's kind of like why I got into fashion. And yeah, I guess like just raising these birds is just something that's like a hobby and a passion. And something to keep me busy and stimulated that isn't like, you know, just on the internet all the time and, and stuff like that. Kind of keeps me tuned in with Earth, if you will. <laughs> and it makes me spend a lot of time with my dad and my brother. It helps me learn a lot of things, actually. It's very uh, therapeutic, like I said in my last video. It just, it's very awesome. Man. Look, don't get me wrong, the hens are very pretty too. Like, you see the hens? See how her tails, like, kind of, you know, she's very pretty. Don't get me wrong. She has very nice color and stuff like that. These are a matching pair. Like, these two bred together and make out babies that come out this way. Like, hens, same color as that hen, and roosters, the same color as this hen. But, you just tell, see how long it is? You know what I mean? So that's another thing. They will fight to protect their family. They will fight to protect their, their girl. You know what I mean? I think that's just, uh, that's inspiration in itself, you know what I mean? But, not all of them fight. I'm just chatting at this point. Yeah, this is my Kikariki. They're both from Puerto Rico. He's the one, one without a beard, so that's why he's crucial to my breeding and my root stock. Man, I still need a breeding guy. Still learning. Um, look at that shit. Look at that fucking tail, man. God damn. I should have dropped the egg, baby. God damn, I love to see it. And it's about to get warmer, so the egg should be good and fertile. Yeah, baby. My other Kikiriki. Uh, that's my bearded Spangle. I didn't know he was bearded when I bought him, but it's okay. I really do like him. That's my curl hen. And she got an egg popped as well. Damn. What's up, baby? That's like her fucking 10th egg, bro. Since he's been here. She dropped like two, three in my room. And I got this black hen. She's just drying out. Yeah, I'm just drying her out because I want to put her to Old English game. Uh, I originally thought that I had another black hen, and that's why I put her with the. You know what I mean? I thought I had two hens, two black hens. So I put my other black hen with my black rooster, but she wasn't a black hen. And I put her with the Kikariki to cross. And yeah, she's being dried out. So that way I could put her with um, my old English game black rooster. I might put another hen with her, but they always like uh, end up fighting. And for you guys who do not know what stud mating is, stud mating is just uh, where you like, or instead of having three birds in one cage, you have a hen in one cage and another hen in another. And then you just keep moving the rooster, like, like single mating. Um, yeah, because uh, I want to really see if I can see the difference. I mean, I don't know. I might change my mind later on in the future, but you know what I mean? And just choose like the butt, the best of black roosters that I like personally. Because uh, I do want to end up using my first breed as my like actual brood stock um, and work from there, really. But uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. I really like this guy down here, man. I'm about to name him Coco. What up, Coco? Coco! Yo, that's the name, bro. Coco! Puff! <laughs> When I mean puff is when his hackle, see his, his hackle will like spread open and that is kind of like a puff. I don't know if that's the proper term for it, like the puff, like when their hackle like spreads out when they're about to, you know, fight and defend their, you know, lady shit like that. That's what I call it and my brother call it. I wish this was a bigger fly pen for them. Kind of like what my dad has. We built this a while ago. Half that, you know? The reason why I want to do that is, is so that the birds just get a lot of exercise, you know what I mean? Blues have a long tail, but it came out because he's molting. Molting is like kind of like how dogs shed, uh, you know, their fur. Uh, birds, they like molt. They like shed their feathers. And the silver fawns, look. But I know he's molting too. Uh, oh yeah, everyone looks like they're doing all right. 
Get the Kiki Rikis lead in the pack. Right on. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Sucks. Ah!